Now, now back to Bandman. Uh, Bandman's my guy. Um, you know, every I, I post him a lot. People call him BBL Kevo and BBL Man and shit like that. But in today's society, that's really becoming a normal thing. Like no, it's, it's a lot of rapper. It's a lot of rappers. I can't say no names, but it's a lot of rappers that go to that same doctor. You acting like you've been there, Sean. What you saying? The login. Like, what you saying, the list? The list of people that was on it? No, 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 no. I'm just saying that, like, these are guys that I, I know for a fact that uh, that they've gotten that work done. And then you even see now, like, um, on the female side, women die every day from that shit. You you just see the DC Young Fly's wife. She just died from that shit. Like, what's, what's your whole, whole take on surgery as a whole, though? It's dangerous, but everything come with like everything come with danger in it, bro. Even the food, like I can't knock nobody. I got tattoos on my body, so I I can't be biased to nobody if they want to go do something to themselves how they feel. That's their image and how they want to look. If they believe in what they believe in, that's up to them. They can do whatever they want to. A female. Now, on Batman Kevo's behalf, the male body produces to toss the room and stuff that you're supposed to go to the gym and work out and get the you ain't supposed to be buying no muscles you you don't buy muscles it's wrong bro you got liposuction and you got the same operation as my girlfriend why is you it like like the doctor mocked him up like do you know when Batman Kevo came from getting that surgery? He was like the people you ever seen the girls with the butt in the air and the joint like that. He was just like that. You think, you think big folk ain't pick him up from the hospital with the with the uh, faha on his butt in the air? Come on, man. You know it, man. That's why, that's why big folk dissing me, saying all this Aunt Lizzie. I never said nothing about him. I don't even know him. He's saying that because he feel guilty that he picked him up from the hospital and had to change his bandages. I'm just here, like, it gotta be. Or he was on the list to get one next and he feel embarrassed like I messed up his come up. But Sean, all jokes aside, I just seen you in the gym kickboxing. You ain't never thought about going to get by the muscles. Nah. <laughs> I know. As long as you know. Like, nah. like you get money. All right, they give you some money. You come, all right, you come from where you come from. They give you some money. You spend it on muscles? Oh man, Bruh, If one of my friends get a fat train, if one of my friends get the bad man, we ain't even friends no more. I'm cutting them off. Like, what are you on? Like, first of all, you taking the short cuff on life. God don't even like that, Bruh, Go work for the muscles. They free. <laughs> go put the work in. Like, that's some late, bro. That's lazy. Yeah, big folks wasn't feeling that. Uh, he he got to calling you dusty and. DC this and he know niggas in DC that I'm like, yeah, he wasn't big folks wasn't smelling that man. I just want to know this. A guy from Chicago, a well known figure that I don't know, I just see him in Chicago, Kevo. He gets a a, a man transfer that turns him to Arnold Swolska nigga. I say something about it because it's wrong as a man. And he's still on the internet thinking this shit cool because he's walking around buffing shit, but his inside's bad. His man defended him. How does I get into it with the GDs and he's a gang member? His name Big Folk. Like, I got into it with Chicago. How I get into it with the GDs, the BDs, the CDs, and the DVDs? I got into it with everybody. I'm like, what the hell's going on? All... Oh, First of all, I didn't even know active gang members can speak on or try to start a riot or a city war behind a plastic surgery. Like, what's going on in Chicago? <laughs> Only surgery I should have wanted to fight about was D-Rose. We is not trying to fight about bad man cabos. I'm just here to tell you. I'm not going for it. So this for all the GDs, BDs, CDs, DVDs. They trying to start a war. So can you get your fat man, big folk or whatever he is? Because he told me I'm Bob from Chicago. So that means if I'm Bob from Chicago, that means I got to go on everybody from Chicago. I can't be friends with two Chicago guys and beef and ban from Chicago. My back door going to be open. Hmm. I'm from the streets. I'm not going to allow that. So Chicago is like, hey, hey, nigga. I don't want no trouble. I didn't start this. This all started with the BBL. So if gangsters back in 
Bad man Cabo in a surgery? That's why I got out the streets. I don't trust y'all. I don't know what's going on. WAC 100 is on, uh, what's that, Clubhouse? I, he, he a gang member. He naked talking to Memo 600 on the phone trying to sign him to a 360. These old guys are tripping. And then I don't know if big folk fat or skinny. Because like on your interview, he looked at fat. But on live, he was skinny. It's like the nigga chameleon. I don't even know if he big folk or just folk. <laughs> So I'm like, I got real loud look at the pictures. Like, I'm trying to profile him. I'm trying to figure out who he is. But it's like, I don't know, bro. It's like, dang, I like I like OTF and Lil Durk, bro. It's like, what, what I got to do? You know what I'm saying? But if it came down to it, all jokes aside, I don't really care. Oh, and don't you know, oh, man, since we on Chicago topic, don't you know, uh, what's the guy that's your man? Uh, it, hit, it do hit different. I don't know his name. Oh, J-Man. His stories, when they when they start talking in Chicago, killer story, and they be telling me, like, man, you been not play with Chicago? I be like, I be thinking about J Main little stories. All his stories, he under something high, and like he ain't never the aggressor. I swear to God, all his stories come with him. Folks, I was looking at such and such dude. I was over here. I'm like, bruh, if y'all got uh J Mains in Chicago, I ain't really worried. It do hit different. It do hit different <laughs> when you see a nigga like him from Chicago, you understand that they all ain't savages. I'm just saying. <laughs> It do. <laughs> do your homework. Do your homework. If you hide and every time something happen, you know you ain't really about that. Man, do your homework. It do hit different. <laughs> Yo, you funny shit. No, I'm just here to tell them. Like, I'm telling you. Like, y'all keep talking all this nonsense. Yeah, I, but I see the documentaries. Everybody do the YouTube jokes. Make Chicago look super turnt. Like, I got some little ones I like from the documentaries. But what I'm here to tell y'all, them superheroes y'all look up to, I got somebody out my house that equals them, like a hundred of them. They really this small. So like the gangsters talk don't really mean don't really mean nothing. Do your homework on Bob or son. You feel me? Like I gotta you know what I'm saying?